Hello everyone. I hope you all are in your good health. This is Neelu Gaur from Srishti World School, your science teacher. So, this is a condition of a lockdown. But this lockdown doesn't mean that your studies you will also lock down. So, you need to continue with your studies. Okay. So, here I am with your new session. Class 6, Lesson 1, Food and its Sources. See children, the food has a very important role in our life. Whatever works we are doing, we get energy from the food. Without food, we cannot survive. Now, we eat different kind of foods. Food gives us energy. And uh, this time, as you know, that we are uh, facing a lot many problems, a virus attack. So, we need to keep ourselves healthy. Huh? We have to boost, we have to improve our immunity. So, for that, we have to keep taking a healthy food in our diet. Our diet should be a balanced diet. So, as you all know, we, we all have different eating habits. Some of you are vegetarians, some of you are non-vegetarians. And every day, we eat different types of food. Uh, I am showing you like a, this is apple in my hand, this is orange. These are the fruits which gives us a large amount of proteins, vitamins, minerals and all. Okay, so this is the food which we will directly get from the plant. We pluck it from the plant and we can consume it. Then I will show you, there is a bowl in my hand in which there is a dal. And in another bowl, there is a rice. So now you see children, this dal and rice. Is it you directly got from the plant? You pluck it from the plant and you started eating? No. This we need to prepare. If you observe your mother, when she is cooking the food, she is cooking a large amount of food for you. Vegetables, curries. Roti, chapati, puris. Huh? So she is preparing a food for you. And you are having a milk, curd, lassi also. So when your mother is preparing food, she is adding actually so many things to make one dish. This dal which I have shown you, it is not just a dal. It has so many things inside it. For that you need a pulse, you need some water, salt, some spices and ghee. So these many things are needed to make this one bowl of dal. So all these things which are needed to make one dish are called as the ingredients of the dish. What are they called? Ingredients of the dish. Now when you observe the ingredients also then you will observe that these ingredients also you are getting from a variety of sources. So what are ingredients? The materials which are needed to prepare a dish is known as a ingredient. These are known as ingredients. Now you see I have made one table. On one side I have written the food item and on another side I have written ingredients. As I told you ingredient means the types of substances which are needed. Now first I have written roti. So for making a roti you need a wheat flour or atta and water. So these are the two ingredients which are needed to prepare a roti. Second one I have written dal. So in dal what are the different ingredients? These are pulse, any kind of pulse, water, salt, oil and some spices. So all these ingredients will make one bowl of dal for you. Now move to another table. Here also I prepared one table for you and I have written the food item then ingredient and now you have to identify the different sources from which you are getting these ingredients. So first one I have written idli. Most of you will eat idli in your breakfast. So idli it is mainly made up of rice and dal. If you ask your mother she will tell you that what are the ingredients of the idli. So this rice and dal, from where do we get rice and dal? From the plant. So the sources of the rice and dal is a plant. So you can say that idli, the main source is plant only. 
Now, some of you are eating chicken curry also. So, in a chicken curry, when you ask your mother, she will tell you that chicken curry, it needs chicken, it needs some spices again, some salt and water, tomato, so many things. So, here you can see many ingredients are there in the chicken curry. One of the ingredients that is chicken. What is the source of it? Animal. It is not from the plant source. So, chicken we get from the animal. Second one is the spices. All the spices we get from the plants. That we will discuss later that what are the different parts of the plant which we eat. There we will discuss about the spices also. Then oil. That oil also we get from the plant and water that is a natural resource. Then third I made lassi. So for lassi you need curd, you need sugar and water. So the curd, from where do we get curd? We made it from the milk. And from where do we get milk? From the animal. So the source of the curd is also actually the animal. So now what we can conclude from this that there are mainly the two sources of food. The two main sources of food are plant and animals. Whatever food we are eating, we are getting. It is either from the plants or from the animals. See, from plants we are getting fruits as I showed you. Then pulses, rice, wheat, spices. All these things we will get from the plants. Then animal. From animals we get so many things like milk and all other dairy products. Milk means not only milk. From milk you can make butter, you can make curd, you can make cheese. So all the dairy products which we are getting, the main source is animals. Egg. Most of you will eat egg also in your breakfast. So that egg also we will get from the animals. And then chicken, mutton. The sources are animals only. So in our today's topic, we discussed about what are the different types of food we eat, what are the ingredients of those food and based on that ingredients, we have divided the sources of food into two main categories, plants and animals. So children, I am giving you one small homework. Today what you will do, whatever today you eat in your lunch or in your dinner, you just see what are the different ingredients. You ask your mother that what are the different ingredients, what she added to prepare that particular dish. So, all of you, you will be eating different kinds of food. Some of you, your mother will cook rice today. Some of your mothers will cook chapati today. Some of your mothers will cook biryani today. So, what you have to do? List the ingredients and then you have to find out what are the sources of those ingredients. Whether they are the plant sources or the animal sources. Okay? And then I am sending you one more link also related to this lesson. You see that video and then I am sending one more homework, that written homework. That link also I am sending you. Go to that two links. Okay?